we know that when you go through the Nungwa Township, and it's typical with other Ghana communities, you find over 10 people, if I'm not exaggerating, sleeping in one room. Meanwhile, the Gans have so many lands, but their elders are selling so this land. Well, 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 if you get to this part of Nungwa, we, we call it the ancient town. Uh, because of the way they were living, is that all the houses were very close to each other. Because they were living typically in the forest. And because of white animals and other things, they had to draw together. But you get back to, to the other side of Nungwa, that's a, that's a new area. You see that trees are there, the rest, unlike the, the ancient town. So if you want to address the difficult that our people are going through in the ancient town, where you just mentioned temples, living in the room and the rest, unfortunately, they have not come across one. We are, Nungwa here, you, how do we look for even two people sleeping in the room? Then how can you bring forth? How can you sleep with a woman and get a child? You know, but in the other jurisdictions, yes, that problem exists. So I wouldn't say that because Nungwa is, is not expressing that thing, I, I should close my eyes and that doesn't you know, uh, happen in the other jurisdictions. It does. And that's why I would say that anything I would do, we do it in consonant, in partnership with other tribes within the region. But how what? about giving them lands to go and settle on? Are you selling, are you selling the lands? Oh, the land yeah, definitely the, the people will sell. But as to so where the proceeds, the as to where the proceeds go, what do you do with the proceeds? That's the most important thing. Because, because as a traditionalist, what because we are not paying whoever is a traditional office holder. They are being taken care of by the property that you, you will. So where, where are your proceeds going? That's what you are saying. We are developing. You can see practical development here. Like I told Fixing you, your temple. like I said, ten, ten, uh, two three years ago, you didn't be sitting here. But today we are sitting here. So, the so that's the mark used of to the, fix the temple. The proceeds being used to fix your temples. How about your people? They oh. fill in the, the proceeds directly in their pockets. Have you seen them on the In street? their lives. Have you seen our people on the street? No, you tell me. <laughs> you have to tell me what, what, the, what the proceeds, how the proceeds are benefiting your people. Yeah, unfortunately, I want to be very blunt and I want to be very honest. Mm. Unfortunately, we are not using the proceeds that we are we are we are we are we are, we are deriving from land sales we are not using it the way it should be used we are we are individually we have enriched ourselves at the expense of the people and that is not correct so if the, if our certified is not correct how do we address it so the question for the press to be so inquisitive to be, to be so curious so that's why i gave you two years down the line come and find out what has happened to the people yeah, but you also consider giving lands to your people to settle on so if it becomes necessary if it comes necessary why not if it becomes necessary why not it is necessary. No if it becomes necessary for them to use that land for their own personal gains, why not? Building houses to stay in. Yes, why not? The land is for them. Okay. The land is not for me. I'm only a custodian. The land is for the people. And I say that our people are not so proactive. If our people were to be proactive, they would be questioning us as the leaders of, of, of as their leaders. Okay. But we are not proactive. Our people are not pro I'm challenging them to be very proactive. They should come and find out where is our money? How are you using our money? If I'm using the money, this to this person or this to me. Don't be here because you are managing the resources on their behalf. It's not a property. We need to be very accountable. If we are calling on central government to be accountable, we as well should be accountable. What, what's your vision for the people? I, 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 I said don't talk about my vision. Or development plans. What, what, what are yeah, your the development plans? At the end of the day, you need to bring the people to a certain level. You need to allow the people to appreciate where they are. Before they can appreciate where they are, they have to know where they came from. So I want to take the people from a certain state that we find ourselves to a certain level. Until we get to that level, I cannot talk of a vision. The vision is, is, must be practicalized. Vision on paper, as politicians do, no. That will guide whatever you do. They have it. People. Yeah, but we are, we are on, on, on the first phase. The first phase is to reactivate all the temples. But that's where the power lies. That tells me, that gives me my identity. We are in the, in the, in the temple of Tetu now. I'm, we, are talk, we are talking about it. Without this thing, I, I, I don't have any identity. Without the Babu temple, I don't have any identity. So I should be able to reactivate all the temples. After I reactivate all the temples, then I can, in, 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 uh, uh, in addition to reactivating the temples, we are looking at other areas, education, where we want to partner the personal church to, help, to put out certain emphasis for our children in school. We want to look at the health needs of our people. To me, that is very paramount. The health and education are quite paramount. By education, how? Because we know there are a number of people, children, grandchildren, who are not going to school. You take the list of graduating students and you see just a few grandchildren, and in particular, a few Nungwa children. That's the challenge that we want to address. 
That's the difficulty we want to address. Yeah, we want to address because one, it's, it's, it's a problem for us as we sit here that you, your child leaves their home to school. Do we as parents bother to go and find out whether my child who left home to school is truly in the, in the classroom? Do we even find out or check on teachers whether they are well motivated not to give their best? Where do, they, do the teachers even sleep? You, you understand? If we lack some of these bits, then we should know that we are not encouraging our children enough to be up to that level that we want them to be. The, 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 the contention is that we lack behind educationally and we have to address the issue that confronts the girl and with a, a child. So, those that we have in school, we are, how do we take care of them? We can only take care of them by evolving certain policies. Joining hands with other people, and other likely-minded people, who think that, look, this is, what, this is the way to go. You are, you are the Bahurum and so what? Who are your advisors? You need to have an advisory council. If it's education, where are they? If it is legal, where are they? If it is where are they? They have to buy into your vision before they can be part of the parcel of your uh, administration. So these are things you intend to do and not we that you've done. already we thought we about there. them and planned We them are there. Out. We are there. That's why because we cannot meet the president leadership without any, 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 any program in hand. Okay. We are there with a program. We want them, after address the issue, for them to buy into our program. So uh, five years' time when I meet you again, I want you, to come you would have... Three years' time. You, what, what would you five have years done? is too far. What would you have done in three years? Come before 2020, we are going into another election. Okay. Two years down the line. So come and find out what has happened to me. You are described as an NDC man. You are. I am. You are an NDC man. Yes. What is wrong? It may bias in your how you relate to your people. Because if I'm an NPP man, you are an NDC man. How do so, you so, manage that? So I'm giving you a, a, a challenge. Go back to the people and find out how I how we live together. This may also affect how you relate to the yo, 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 political yo, 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 leaders. Yo, 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 Not necessarily your people, but they you. may see you in a different light. And maybe... And NPP people may react to you differently, thinking oh, that MPP, oh, you are against them. MPP, uh, from uh, uh, the top down, because by intelligence they know who I am. Okay. And I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to to, to sound so sycophant that because I'm this in this position, I must be, I must behave in a certain way to 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 court certain kind of uh, this thing from, from from central government. No. And if 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 I'm here, I must know that I'm here. In the name of, of certain people okay. called Numa, who have divergent political positions. So, how do I uh, uh, endanger their lives? You, you understand? And that, call, that calls for the, that neutrality, that neutral role. You are helping to solve the Gamancha crisis. A quick one, then you go. The committee you've created, what's, what, what's its mission? It's to advise me on who should be the proper Gamancha for me to perform my rights. That's all. For the person? Yes, for the person. So, have you consulted the various parties so they understand what you are asking and they are then accept the they are verdict of the committee? They are cooperating. That's why they've been appearing before the committee. The parties, Tetequi, yeah, yes. Tetequi's party. Tetequi has appeared like just this Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Otoga appeared that last week. Okay. All the, all, all the ruling houses are coming as a body, as individuals. Okay. Consenting to the deeds and works of the committee. But at the end of the day, whether government, whether court, if the people do not buy into all these things, it will be a fiasco. So we end here. Uh, we've heard from Numo Bokete Lawe True, who is the Babu Wulomo. We want to thank him so much for granting us this audience. My name is Gabriel Niobudai Togbo Ashon.